And then the next septum kind of came in, which was, you know, blokes my age, having to get up to go to the toilet all the time, a little bit uncomfortable. Oh, okay, maybe I've got one of those kidney stones coming on. So your mind keeps defaulting to, oh, okay, it's this, it's that, it's that. And I went to the toilet and, uh, yeah, it all turned bad, just instantly. And I went to the doctor the next day, to whoever I could get in with. And I said, uh, oh, these are my symptoms. And he said, um, get yourself to emergency now. Uh, they'll be waiting for you. Don't stop, just get there. Uh, and there and then he just looked at me and he said, mate, you are uh, stage four advanced prostate cancer. And I just sat there and didn't have a good time. <laughs> I've never felt alone and I had no right to feel alone because I never am. But for that moment, yeah, deeply and lost. You know, it's, it's, I know what it's like to be a 13 year old kid to lose your father and now I know what it's like to be a father that's Well, it's a hideous disease, no one wants it. I've got it. And now I've got the opportunity to do whatever it is that I want to do in life because of it. So as soon as I walked in the wish list and I saw what you had, I was just overwhelmed. And if, if I can have a legacy, no matter how small. Being part of this is just... Yeah.